You'll have your part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. In the realm of television, few shows have delved into the murky depths of the human psyche quite like Chris Carter's Millennium. Emerging as a darker, more grounded counterpart to Carter's iconic The X-Files, this psychological thriller captivated audiences with its blend of serial killer investigations, apocalyptic themes, and the haunting abilities of protagonist Frank Black. Millennium came to life amidst a fascinating period in television history. The mid to late 1990s saw a surge in gritty crime dramas and growing fascination with the macabre. Shows like Profiler and movies like Silence of the Lambs paved the way for audiences to embrace the disturbing allure of entering the minds of serial killers. Chris Carter, already a master at crafting suspense and exploring paranormal themes, sought to push the boundaries even further. Millennium in many ways was a product of its time. The approaching new millennium fueled societal anxieties and conspiratorial predictions. Yvonne and Chester Rich are getting ready for Y2K. A lot of crackers. And, and uh, stuff for the cats. This apocalyptic undercurrent permeates the show, imbuing it with a sense of dread and foreboding unlike anything else on television. People were not so much afraid of the millennium bug as they were afraid that there would be some sort of soul-wrenching worldwide change. Carter masterfully weaves themes of religious symbolism, ancient prophecies, and societal decay, fostering an atmosphere of impending doom. Despite critical acclaim, Millennium remained a niche show, perhaps too dark and complex for mainstream audiences accustomed to more formulaic crime procedurals. Nonetheless, the show garnered a devoted cult following, drawn to its unflinching portrayal of evil, its nuanced characters, and its thought-provoking exploration of human darkness. While the late 90s saw a wave of serial killer-themed entertainment, Millennium offers so much more than surface-level thrills. More than just a procedural centered on catching killers, the show serves as a haunting exploration of the timeless question, what makes a monster? The show's exploration of psychology extends beyond its villains. At the heart of Millennium stands Frank Black, a retired FBI profiler portrayed with chilling intensity by character actor Lance Henriksen. Black possesses a unique gift, or perhaps a curse, that allows him to see through the eyes of the murderers, experiencing their twisted visions and motivations. Black walks a tightrope between understanding evil and succumbing to it. His gift is a double-edged sword. While it allows him to predict criminals' actions, it also plunges him into the abyss with their twisted minds. His uncanny ability to step into the killer's perspective isn't a superpower, it's a profound curse. He doesn't merely solve crimes, he absorbs the darkness, blurring the lines between hunter and hunted. This forces viewers to confront disturbing truths about empathy. Even the most abhorrent acts hold a perverted logic, and in understanding them, we risk seeing a sliver of that darkness reflected in ourselves. Frank constantly battles the darkness he perceives, a struggle that mirrors the show's central theme, the struggle to maintain goodness in the face of pervasive evil. His gift isolates him, damages his family, and constantly tempts him with the nihilistic worldview of the criminals he pursues. The very act of fighting evil takes a toll, raising the timeless question of whether we risk becoming that which we battle. I've known this dangerous level of anger, being with everything. I've never felt so helpless. Haunted by this ability, Black joins the mysterious Millennium Group, a shadowy organization comprised of former law enforcement figures who believe that the world is hurtling toward a cataclysmic end at the turn of the century. The Millennium Group serves as an enigmatic and often unsettling force within the show's narrative. Their true motives remain shrouded in ambiguity, leaving viewers questioning whether they are a force for good, fighting against the rising evil, or something far more sinister. This ambiguity reflects the show's exploration of morality, and the age-old battle between light and darkness. The Millennium Group further complicates the moral landscape. The pursuit of the greater good raises uncomfortable questions. At what point does the fight against evil become indistinguishable from evil itself? Are there lines that shouldn't be crossed, even in the face of potential catastrophe? The show forces us to question whether all means are justified in pursuit of a greater good, and how power itself can corrupt even those with noble intentions. The show further explores the chilling notion of hidden threats lurking beneath the surface. The Millennium Group's existence suggests the presence of powerful, unseen forces manipulating events behind the scenes. 
This resonates with anxieties about corporate influence, the spread of misinformation, and the potential for powerful entities to undermine societal stability. In the age of social media manipulation and cybercrime, Millennium's depiction of hidden threats feels more relevant than ever. This ambiguity extends to the show's portrayal of victims. They are not always innocent bystanders. Past actions and hidden secrets often paint them in shades of gray, blurring the lines between victim and perpetrator. This complexity forces viewers to confront the uncomfortable reality that the world is rarely black and white. Even the seemingly innocent can harbor complexities and darkness. How can you keep doing this when you know? You know. Adding another layer to the moral conundrum, Millennium suggests that evil can even lurk within seemingly ordinary people. The show explores the potential for ordinary citizens to be swept up in cults, succumb to societal pressures, or harbor deep, disturbing thoughts. This dark undercurrent emphasizes that the capacity for evil exists within us all, waiting for the right circumstances to be unleashed. You let her. You watched. You perpetrated the abuse on Maddie. This exploration of moral ambiguity transcends the show's era. The human condition is inherently complex, and the line between good and evil often remains unclear. Carter and his crew challenge viewers to move beyond simplistic notions of morality and acknowledge the shades of gray that exist in both ourselves and the world around us. Millennium refuses to offer simplistic explanations for evil. Its killers aren't just stock villains. Some are driven by trauma, others by warped ideologies, and still others by urges they barely understand themselves. This complexity mirrors the real world, where monstrous acts rarely have a single satisfying answer. Emerging at the tail end of the 20th century, Millennium captured a societal mood marked by anxieties about the approaching millennium. However, the show's thematic core, the gnawing fear of social decay, hidden threats, and a potential societal breaking point, transcends its specific historical context, resonating powerfully even in 2024. Perhaps the most potent theme explored by the show is the idea of a looming societal breakdown. The show's dystopian undertones, fueled by fears surrounding Y2K and the turn of the millennium, serves as a metaphor for a collective disintegration of society. While the specific anxieties of the late 1990s have faded, the fear of social collapse remains. Political polarization, environmental concerns, and the ever-present threat of global conflict continues to fuel anxieties about the future. Millennium paints a dystopian picture of a world teetering on the brink. The show depicts a society plagued by crime, economic disparity, and a growing sense of alienation. The news media constantly bombards viewers with negativity, fueling a sense of hopelessness and paranoia. This bleak vision reflects anxieties that continue to plague us today. Income inequality, political polarization, and the constant barrage of negative news create a similar environment of unease in the 21st century. Millennium doesn't offer easy answers. It doesn't shy away from portraying the darkness within human nature and the decaying social contract. However, the show also subtly suggests the possibility of hope. Frank Black, despite the darkness he encounters, persists in his pursuit of justice. These characters serve as a reminder that even in the face of despair, the human capacity for good endures. 